Hey guys, this is Travis Elliott, and welcome to Yin Yoga Hamstring Stretch. This particular class will have you holding long poses as you target the fascia along the posterior chain or the back side of the body, especially those hamstrings. This class is from Inner Dimension Academy. The Academy is where we offer high quality, in-depth training in all things related to yoga. So if you want to deepen your practice or get certified to teach, then check out Inner Dimension Academy. We have an online 200 hour and right now we're also rolling out modules for the 300 hour training. If it's in your flow, we'd love to have it. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoy your yin practice and I'll see you on the other side. Welcome to Yin Yoga Hamstring Stretch. So this is a special class, kind of like a bonus class that I wanted to offer you guys as part of the advanced sequencing training, just to give you a little taste of our other training that eventually will be part of the 300 hour where we focus just on yin, restorative and myofascial. So we're gonna do a 30 minute theme focused on stretching the hamstrings, yin style. I hope you enjoy. We're gonna start off in a standing forward fold. So come to the top of the mat, spread the feet out, good shoulder width apart. Put a little bend into the knees and then just relax the torso down as you grab opposite elbows with your hands. So what we call the dangling forward fold. And as you have a little bend in those knees, it might feel good to sway side to side, to lightly bounce up and down through the knees. giving yourself permission to bend the knees as much as you like, depending on the tightness and stiffness that you might feel across the backs of your legs. For those of you that like to do the 108 sun salutations practice, this may be a perfect follow-up practice for that because the hamstrings get really, really tight when you do the 108. And this is all about targeting that area of the body. Take about another minute or so here. Let's take a deep inhale through the nose. And then out the mouth, exhale, let it go. Two more like that, deep inhale. And sigh it out on the exhale. One more time, inhale deep. And then exhale, let it go, sigh it out. Enjoy the last few breaths there. Beautiful, and before we completely exit out of this shape, go ahead and release the hands, the arms down. Bring the hands around behind the lower back, interlace the fingers, draw the arms towards straight. Just give your shoulders a nice little stretch here as well as you continue to open up those hamstrings. One thing that we know is that lower back issues are commonly related to the hamstrings being excessively tense and tight and how that begins to pull together the lower vertebra of the spine. And when this happens long enough and persistently enough, that can eventually lead to pinched nerves. So when we open up the hamstrings, it creates this beautiful domino effect where all the other related body parts and tissues also begin to loosen up as well. We start to get blood flow moving through those different areas of the body and where there's circulation, there's always regeneration where there's a lack of circulation, things begin to deteriorate and atrophy. Take one last inhale there, and then exhale, relax the hands down to the ground. Step back to a downward facing dog. Just for a few breaths here, walking out your dog, stretching out your heels, your calves, the backs of the knees, some of those other tissues connected to the hamstrings. 
posterior side of your leg. We'll take one last inhale there in your downward facing dog. And then relax the knees down, bring the big toes together, open the knees out wide, child's pose, allow the hips to draw back toward your heels. See if you can make it as yin as possible. That might mean bringing the arms behind you if that feels better in the shoulders. It might mean cactusing the arms open so there's a bend in the elbows, just so you feel spacious in that part of the body. There's an old Chinese proverb that says, tension is who you think you are Relaxation is who you really are. Sometimes we actually get addicted to our own tension and even our own pain, our own suffering, crystallizing into what we often call the pain body. And we become loyal to our suffering. So much of this practice is a remembrance that who we truly, truly are, who we deeply are, is that quality of relaxation, spaciousness, openness. And freedom. So let the tensions go. Let that deep healing relaxation flow. the forehead a little gentle rock side to side, just massaging it to the front side of the brain. So important within these practices to move away from that thinking, critical, analytical brain. Shifting the brain waves, slowing those down. And how healing and how powerful it is to slow the mind down. A hurried mind is a sick mind, and a sick mind leads to a sick body, sick life. Beautiful. Come up to all fours, tabletop position. Crawl the knees forward just a little bit more. Cross the feet behind you, release down onto the sit bones. Extend your left leg straight out in front of you. Bring the sole of your right foot to your inner left leg, left thigh, and then rotate your body over towards the right. So you're actually going to be at an angled. In fact, we call this the angled half butterfly. So you're going to crawl the hands forward and out to your own degree out at an angle. You could even use a block to go underneath your hands, your forearms, maybe even your forehead, just like we see demonstrated here by Peter. When we have support for the head, for the weight of the skull, it helps us to trigger even more so that relaxation response. 
this particular shape and position, not only stretching the back of the left leg, the left hamstring, but also the inner thigh and the groin as well. Keeping the torso down low, go ahead and slowly crawl your way all the way over towards your left leg. Reach your hands out and grab your foot or your leg, whatever feels right. On an inhale, extend your heart, your spine up and out. And then begin to fold over and down into that half butterfly pose. Come into the shape. You find your edge. Stay with the breath. Put that slow pressurized effect, which inevitably allows you to access the deep fascial tissue. And that promotes that healing effect on a deep, deep level. Because of our society being so fast, so frenetic, so chaotic, so hurried. For many of us, yin yoga is not a luxury, it's a necessity. Our nervous system needs it in the same way that a, a desert dweller needs to be quenched with hydration, with water. In the same way that movement is healing for the body, stillness is healing for the mind. Periodically, you may notice distractions arising within the mind where you start ruminating on something that happened yesterday. Or you may notice the planning mind where you start thinking about things that you have to do later today or tomorrow. As Bhante Gunaratana said, distractions are like paper tigers. They have no power of their own. They need to be fed constantly or else they die. So in this practice, I learn not to feed the distraction, but to feed presence, to feed mindfulness. From here, go ahead and ease your way all the way back up. 
Bring the right hand to the outer right knee. Guide the right knee to face up. Extend the right leg straight out in front of you. And then bring the sole of the left foot high up to the inner right leg, right thigh, setting up for half butterfly angled. So rotate the upper body now to the left. Begin to crawl the hands forward and out to your own degree. So you find your boundary, you find that wall of tension and that wall of resistance. And then you yield to breath, you yield to time. And just know the longer you hold the pose, the deeper you go. So patience really is a virtue. Beautiful, keeping the torso down low. Slowly crawl your way all the way over towards your right foot, right leg. Reach your hands out, grab what you can get. On the inhale, pull the heart forward and out. And on the exhale, just fold down to your own sweet degree. One afternoon, a Taoist master was walking through the forest during winter time with his students. When they came upon a majestic river, a river that was endowed with quite a bit of frozen ice, the teacher stopped his students, invited them to look at the river and explain that life is like this river. And we are all like the ice chunks floating down the current. Both are made of the same material, the same stuff, both the river and the ice. Humans so often are frozen in their own stress and tension and separateness. But our practice, the practice known as the Tao, known as the way, is to melt ourselves, to dissolve our tension and our stress and our separateness, to come back to being at harmony with the Tao, to the realization and the awakening that on a deep level, You're part of the great one. As we move through this practice of yin, we too begin to dissolve those boundaries and those walls, the tension, the stress, the separateness.
coming back to our original state of connectedness of yoga. Nice and easily begin to roll yourself all the way back up. Left hand to the outer left knee, left knee back up to the sky. Extend both legs straight out in front of you along the mat and then release all the way down onto your back. As you get onto the back, reach forward, grab your shins, draw your knees, your thighs in. Slide the hands down the legs, grab the outer edges of the feet for the happy baby pose. And if the hips are tight, you can always grab the backs of your thighs, the backs of your knees as an alternative. Just use just the right amount of arm energy, not too much, not too little, to draw the thighs down to sink into the hips. Last few breaths there. Ah, and then bring the knees back together to the belly, grabbing those shins once again. Keep the right knee in, extend the left leg forward along your yoga mat. Open your right arm out to the right like a wing. Take the right knee all the way over to the left into a twist. A couple of options here. If you'd like to bend your left foot in and reach down with your right hand and grab the left foot, you can come into what we call cat pulling its tail variation. If you'd like to stretch out your right hamstring a little more, your left hand could slide down to that outer right foot and you could extend the right leg all the way over to the left. For some of you that may feel blissful, others of you that may feel too much, too intense. So I would invite you to choose the yin approach, place in a position where you can be relaxed, and at ease. Tension is who you think you should be, but relaxation is who you are.
Good, if you have that tail, go ahead and extend that left leg back out towards straight. Bring that right knee all the way back up to neutral. Bend the left knee in to join the right, and then switch sides. So right leg extends out, left arm opens out to the left. Left knee releases all the way over to the right. Feel free to stay there if you like. Or bend that left foot in. Right foot in. Reach down, grab it if you like. Cat pulling its tail. Or if you want the hamstring stretch on that left leg, you can extend that all the way out towards straight. ground and the earth beneath you and below you. See if you can allow as much of your musculature to relax and to soften. Feel that body being supported, held, taken care of. Just a couple of breaths there. Beautiful, and if you have the tail, go ahead and release that. Nice and easily bring the left knee, left leg, all the way back up to neutral. Bend both knees into the belly, into the torso. Curl the forehead up to the knees. Give the whole body one last big squeeze to contract. And then exhale, corpse pose. Release all the way down onto the back. Taking up space, letting those legs and those arms open out wide. Allowing not only the body to soften, but also allowing your breath to soften, your mind to soften, and your heart to soften. Last couple minutes, corpse pose.
everybody from here nice and easily. Bring the awareness back into the body, lightly moving the fingertips and the toes. Reach the hands forward, grab the shins, draw the thighs back in. Gently rock and roll your way all the way up to a last final comfortable cross leg seated position. Bring the hands to prayer position in front of the chest, in front of your heart, sitting up tall, slightly bowing the forehead down as a gesture of gratitude. Feeling that gratitude for your yin practice to bringing you back to that remembrance, that important remembrance, that relaxation and calmness and serenity is who you truly are. Much health, much wealth, much love to you. Namaste. All right, everybody, I want to thank you for your practice. I hope you enjoyed this yin yoga hamstring class. Drop me a comment down below and let me know how it was. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Check out Inner Dimension Academy. And I will see you down the road on the map. Take care.